Joining Doctor Who is like a bucket list item. What? This is like a childhood dream come true. Bell gets about four Doctor Who episodes in about four scenes. <laughs> Bell is cool. Very futuristic army gear that they've all been running about in. I've had a really cool dark coat. Brilliant though, because for us, we got to like dress up and then run around. Amidst all the huge scale destruction that's going on throughout the story, what I wanted is a very, very simple love story of people fighting to find each other. Binder we meet uh, uh, in episode one, uh, an isolated, lonely figure. He's been exiled to an outpost. Observation Officer Binder reporting as per assigned duty. He's there on his own, observing spatial activity and reporting back. Everything remains as per my previous 21,753 reports. Vinda, he's a bit of a maverick, hotshot pilot, but like he's a nice person. The sheer beauty of what I can see is unimaginable. He really cares about the universe and cares about his place in it and cares about his family and the people. As we go through the episodes, we find out the reasons that he has been exiled there. You do realise this is a prestigious posting with the highest level of security clearance. He gets promoted to like a, a job that he couldn't say no to. Thank you, sir. It's an honour. But under a slightly unpleasant uh, slightly unpleasant boss. I don't need solidarity from a grunt. What I need is for you to be silent and do as you're ordered. And this unseemly character uh, does some pretty awful things. You can stop the recording now, Vinda. Supremacy, I'm duty bound. Shut your top. Was my order unclear? Stop him recording. Vinda's not the kind of person to, to just stand by and let bad things happen, and unfortunately, he gets punished for it. I swore my loyalty to our constitution, not to any one person. Something bigger, more important. So, here's a choice. I can submit this, or I cannot submit this. The outpost in episode one is destroyed by the flux. He ends up in the Temple of Atropos where he meets Yaz. Hi, I'm Yaz. I've really, really enjoyed working with Jacob. Whenever I meet a new character, I tend to be with a lot of people, like there'll be Jodie there and John. Serving Commander Instant V. Vinder of Castor Wimp of Foxville. Ah, uh, your service. For the first couple of days, it was just me and Jacob, and so we had a lot of time to get to know each other, and we really actually get on. Oh, well, if we're going formal, Servant Officer Khan, Hallamshire Police, Earth Division. At yours. If you were to put, like, on paper, the exact costume that I would design for myself when I was, like, between 10 and 15. Like, this is exactly what I would desire for myself. It's heroic, and it's, like, militaristic, but it's also kind of grungy and, and like, lived in, and, and I love it, and it makes me feel like I'm here, like I'm doing it. Stop! Stop! It won't work! Who are you? I wanted a character who had some experience of space. I wanted to uh, change up the character mix. I really wanted the idea of an honourable good man who has put all his principles on the line. Seeing the journey of that character through the events that are happening in the universe. This is my third time working with Jacob, who is possibly one of the nicest people you can meet. Where are the hostages? We don't know. No traces. The last two times we've worked together, I have played... I was kind of his mother-in-law. <laughs> this is a very different dynamic that we meet on, in Doctor Who, which I'm delighted with. For me and Mandip, it goes back to being a four. 
blow the doors in. Yeah, I'm having the time of my life. This is, this is genuinely the most fun I've had at work, maybe ever. <laughs> We're in combat gear and we're, we're, we're militarised, which is completely different than what you'd normally get. And it's brilliant though, because for us, we've got to like dress up and then run around. Get them transported out of here now. Very futuristic army gear that they've all been running about in. I've had a really cool dark coat. We're kind of all playing pretend within these like heightened versions of ourselves. Temporal hazing getting to the boss again. Time to move. So yeah, it's been a good laugh. Sorry, what is this? Stick your head in. And I've told myself if I ever had the privilege of being in Doctor Who, the first thing I would do is I'd walk into the TARDIS. I actually snuck into the TARDIS. What? On my first day here. It was like the first thing that I did. That was a really special moment. Probably more so than the actual scene that I shot in the TARDIS. This is like a real like childhood fulfillment for me. His relationship with Belle, see him recording a message to her in episode three, um, and, and it's the first time we reveal that Vinder is the person that Belle has been looking for. I'm only committing one message. I hope it gets to you. I love you. I love you too. It feels like it's been a long time since they've seen each other and actually that he was exiled before he really got the chance to tell her. Uh, Belle is an equally maverick, equally hotshot uh, fighter. When we meet her, at least, she's looking for her husband, who happens to be Binder, and they're just being mavericks together. Yeah, she's just like uh, ultra determined. She goes across the universe whilst carrying a child to find the person she loves. I'm going to get us to where we need to be and who we need to be with. The point of Belle is to show what's going on outside the world of our characters. Belle is out there going, OK, everything is running riot and the Cybermen have got this sector, the Daleks have got this sector, and she's traversing through it and seeing these ruined uh, planets, galaxies, and having to survive out there, really. She's a great way to demonstrate the scale of the aftermath of the flux. She's the perfect example of that mix of epic and intimate, where it's a massive story that we're telling with her, but it's just her in a spaceship having to deal with um, all of the things that are thrown at her. Come on, make high for me. It felt like a really great pairing of her and Jacob. I felt like their two personalities and the personalities of Vinder and Belle, I understood why they were together and why they would wait even after the end of the universe, why they would go searching for each other. These were two uh, incredibly good, honorable, decent, strong fighters who are like, yeah, it's the end of the universe, but we're still gonna go on fighting for the right things and I'm still gonna find the person I love. But I'm not giving up. I'll find you. Whatever it takes. Don't forget to click below and subscribe to the official Doctor Who YouTube channel.